So this family is about to launch the kite up in the air. Uh, so I'm gonna <laughs> capture the uh, beautiful moment of every child dream it to be able to lift their kite up into the sky. <laughs> That's a beautiful kite by the way. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> uh, I remember when I was little in Vietnam, I loved flying kites. Once in a while, my parents took me and my brother to uh, the countryside because we were born and lived in Saigon the first 10 years of my life. <clears throat> and um, and um, on weekend, once in a while, my um, parents took us to um, the countryside and um, I see, I saw kids uh, playing in the farm, swimming in the um, rivers, Mekong River, um, and flying kites. And um, life was so simple back then, especially for kids. Uh, and it's so different, so different than uh, the gen, gener the young generation in this country. Uh, so much different. Uh, back then, we didn't have any uh, <laughs> uh, high-tech device, uh, no cell phone, no laptop, no uh, social media, and definitely no video game either. So kids in Vietnam and other third world country, um, I'm talking about 30, 40 years ago, um, since we didn't have any access to the internet like nowadays, uh, kids are um, encouraging, encouraging to play outside. Um, my most fondest, favorite memory, childhood memory, was um, playing in the rain. That's that's right. Um, I never forget for as long as I live. Uh, what a great, great, wonderful memory to be able to play in the rain with my cousins and uh, neighbor's kids uh, running through the rain um, and let the cool water uh, pouring down on us like waterfall and um, <clears throat> and uh, since Vietnam have uh, only two seasons raining and uh, sunny so during uh, the rainy season uh, it could rain like three three four months easily and so um, during those times, uh, we had nothing else to do but um, play in the rain. And um, that's my childhood memory for as long as I could remember. Um, and of course, flying kites. And, um, so this kind of, you know, brought back my. Uh, wonderful childhood memory from Vietnam. First 10 years of my life. Now with all the high tech um, and video game, um, it's very hard to get um, children uh, to go outside and play, play out, play outside. And they actually have Research actually um, said that um, show that uh, for people who um, and children who um, spend a lot of uh, time outdoor are generally much more healthier and happier than uh, the folks who uh, you know spend most of their life uh, inside, um, whether at home or at work. So I uh, I always um, I have two children, one boy and one girl, and um, now they're 20 and 24. But I remember when they were little, um, I always always make time to take them out to the local park, um, swimming pool, to um, <clears throat> the lake, and. Um, 
different kind of festival, local festival uh, within um, you know the DMV, DC, Maryland, Virginia, and um, took a lot of photo and video. And so now they appreciate um, those um, time uh, when they were um, little. Oh, I hope they launched the kite up in the air. They've been trying over the last five minutes. <clears throat> I think we need more wind. Oh, I think the mother uh, successfully launched her kite up in the air. Oh, that is so beautiful. <laughs> so I'm out here today for the Kite Festival, everyone. That's part of the uh, uh, Cherry Blossom uh, celebration, which is the uh, most popular, uh, famous uh, event in uh, Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States of America. Uh, so it's great to be part of it. And I love those... Um, American flag. <laughs> Love it. Oh, look at all this kai. <laughs> Set all this wonderful kai. It's so awesome. Bring back my childhood memory, everyone. Lovely, lovely. Look at all this dog. Everybody walking their dog and their baby and their. It's so cool. <laughs> But yeah, they, um, you know, research and studies show that uh, people who, um, you know, both children and adults who uh, spend more time outdoor are generally more happy and healthier than uh, the people who uh, scoop up inside, indoor, whether at work or at home. Um, I've um, been walking all my life. Um, I would walk every day outside, sometime around my neighborhood, sometime at the parks, and uh, whenever I go fishing with many, then I would walk around the lake. Um, so it's just so much a part of my life, my daily routine, and um, it's hard to um, imagine myself um, not walking. Um, I feel like I'm missing, uh, you know, like brushing my teeth or, or taking a shower. It's so much part of my, um, my lifestyle, my routine, my daily routine. And um, it really helped, walking really helped clear my mind and uplift my spirits, even on a bad day, uh, or when I'm <laughs> on a bad day, or when I, you know, uh, under a lot of stress. It uh, help walking really, really help clear my mind and um, uplift my mood and yeah, everything. So no, you don't have to. Mommy's gonna pull it once I get momentum. Okay. I, I just love to reconnect with nature, everyone. Um, I love nature. I love to be a part of nature, whether it's mountain or the ocean, or the beach, or the lake, or the, you know, anywhere, river, anywhere that's outside where I can get uh, plenty of fresh air and sunlight. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. The feeling is just amazing. I can't even... I can't even find words to describe how wonderful it is to be a uh, part of nature, to reconnect with nature. So, I just want to share that uh, thought with everyone. Um, please make time to uh, just be outside, to be outdoor, to, you know, it doesn't matter, walking, biking, hiking, um, playing, you know, anything from... Uh, Playing soccer to basketball, swimming, whatever, right? It's better than nothing. 
anything is better than nothing so same goes with exercise and reconnect with nature uh, we human being need a certain amount of sunlight and fresh air every day every day and um, walking is my way of getting both uh, fresh air and sunlight Oh, they successfully launched the kite. Ah, I love it. They are successfully launched the kite. Again, it just bring watching them flying the kite bring back so much, so much memory, um, childhood memory. And doesn't matter how long I live in America. So I came here when I was ten years old, and I've been living here for over forty years. Um, I still, I still miss Vietnam, my homeland, my my hometown where I um, was born and uh, lived my first 10 years uh, of my life. I, I love the Vietnamese food, I, I love the Vietnamese people, everybody's so friendly and um, everybody like me, everybody's like, I have no problem um, come up to a stranger and start a conversation with total stranger, no problem, no problem at all. And um, and uh, the culture, the Vietnamese culture, um, it's um, it's wonderful. And um, ours, Vietnam, uh, fortune. Fortunately, it's so fortunate there to uh, uh, that's located right um, next to the Pacific Ocean, facing the Pacific Ocean uh, from the north to the south. Um, so, locational, location-wise, um, we are at the most wonderful location. And that's one of the reason why. Um, uh, we had um, uh, dominate and uh, colonized um, throughout history by the, the Chinese and then the French. Oh, oh, the kite was right, right in front of me. Oh my goodness, I love it. They pulled the kite right in front of me. Oh wow, what a nice surprise, everyone. What a nice surprise. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> well, here you come again. Here you come again. It's gonna fly it up. So yeah, Vietnam. Um, uh, it's a beautiful country. A beautiful country with a lot of uh, gorgeous uh, coastal, um, you know, beaches um, along, you know, from the north to the south, and um, beautiful forest uh, that filled with um, all kind of exotic animals and plants and flowers um, and um, yeah it's very scenic and mountain too yeah mountain um, uh, with uh, breathtaking overlooked and so <clears throat> so yeah I I love Vietnam. I love my country and um, the food, the people, the culture, everything, everything. And, um, I hope one day, I hope one day that I can um, go back and retire there, but I don't know. I don't know how the visa policy now and how difficult it is to, um, you know, apply or for um, uh, residency for retirement over there. I can only hope. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I look up uh, a lot of uh, YouTube video about Vietnam and um, the average, the average age in Vietnam right now, everyone, uh, believe it or not, is uh, 35 years old. That means the whole country have a lot of young people in the 20 and 30. 
then that explain why Vietnam economy is booming and um, since the 90s and um, all these young um, gen people they um, have a great idea and uh, great innovations and so um, it helped the country itself to um, uh, develop um, at a very uh, fast pace but um, but yeah, overall, Vietnam is the most beautiful country with so many uh, attractions, um, tourist attraction and um, a natural resource, um, and um, low cost of living. Also, if you compare with a dollar dollar money over here versus the uh, Vietnamese dong. Um, yeah, you can buy everything so cheap, like food uh, under five dollar in a restaurant, and uh, <clears throat> a hotel run um, from uh, twenty dollar a night. Uh, you can't beat that. Um, so, yeah, one day I hope to uh, go back there and retire. One day. <laughs> because it's in my blood, it's in my DNA. And it doesn't matter how long I live in this country. Um, I will always, always um, wanna go back. And Vietnam will always, always be my beloved homeland. That's right. Always, always be my beloved homeland where I was born and I live for the first 10 years of my life. Thank you for watching everyone. I really enjoy making this video to share with everyone around the world. Enjoy um, the beautiful spring season coming up, uh, regardless of where you are around the world. Spring is here. Cherish every moment. Cherish every moment being alive. Because life is way too short and precious not to cherish every single moment. <laughs> As you can see, people bring on the dogs and babies. And <laughs> to the mall. Everybody are out today. Everybody, actually, the whole month of March and uh, April. There'll be like millions of tourists out here. Capital of the United States of America. And, uh, it's an honor to be part of it. And so proud to be part of this cherry blossom celebration. Beautiful, <clears throat> perfect day for being out here. Couldn't ask for a better day. Love this family, bringing their kites and the kids out here, and what a great way to spend the uh, Sunday afternoon. Take it. All right, ready? Wait, what are you doing? Are you holding just this part? Hold this here this way, okay? And then you can let me take it all Ready, set, go. Woohoo! Look at them going! Look at the kids going! <laughs> oh, didn't fly much. Over here we have kids throwing uh, football. 
Oh, I'm here soaking up the sun, the warm sun on my face, and uh, breathing in the fresh air. Life is good. At the capital of the United States of America. <laughs> I love it. Love to see everyone out. And um, welcome in the spring. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, uh, please thumb up and subscribe and leave any comments load the video. See you next time. May love, peace, and harmony will always be with everyone around the world. Love, peace, and harmony be with everyone everywhere around the world. <laughs> right, she can take a